What is going on everybody? This is Hybrid Steel and welcome back to Out of War. If you joined my live stream over the weekend, you knew that I'd started building a mine. A mine that can even rival Moria. Now, I mean, okay, not fancy, but, you know, this is a bloody big hole. To put this into perspective, up to... where were we? I want to say about here. That took us about five hours to dig out. And you don't really understand how long this is until you drive it. So let me just get to the start and then I'll show you where we are. Excellent. Okay, so we were, we went under this during our live stream. This is a lithium vein that in fairness I'm probably just going to blow up at some point. When I get around to bothering at some point. And then most of this we laid during the live stream. It took me five hours and literally all I did was build this tunnel. It's basically conveyor belts stacked next to each other and we're just knocking through as we go. Now I probably got to about here during that stream. And the reason why I know this is because I blasted the roof during the live stream to make that like nice archy look and I was like, ah, that's pretty cool. And then I got through and then I just kept going. Over the last couple of days I've been sort of like on and off this. I went through this coal vein, which I don't know where I am in the map anymore. I'm just digging a big hole. And then we're going to go straight down to where I am to this day. Like I said, I, I'm probably digging about an hour, maybe a two a day right now because, well, you know, I've just got things to do. And this is just one of those things. I'm just doing a little project that's turned into a bit of a bigger project. Right, first off, I've got to explain this little cubby hole. Now, if I want to blow something up, like, because I was going through bedrock, as you can see, this stuff's really solid. In order to get through it a little bit quicker, I used explosives to get myself through. So, I built a little cubby hole and I put a detonator in the floor. It just means that I've got somewhere that's a little bit closer to where I was. If not, my detonator's up the other end of this tunnel and it's a long freaking way away. So, where am I? What am I up to? I'm still doing the same thing. I'm putting conveyor belts down next to each other. I'm putting the corners next to each other. So the dirt just fumbles onto the conveyor belt. And every time I get an earth, an earth slide, it's just free money falling out of the ceiling. This bit was a bit more of a pain in the ass to get through because this is just solid rock. This was really annoying. So, what the best thing I, I started doing was literally using, I was using, um, I'm using the RDX explosives to just knock through what I can't break down. Most of it has been, uh, well, 99% of this so far has been done with the front loader. I haven't used any other tools, I've just used the front loader. And what I'm doing is literally just scooping up and then just backing into it. And then it just feeds into the conveyor belt where I just keep making money. And that's all it is. So all of this stuff around here is just it's blasted rock now. So all this will go through the jaws, uh, the jaw crushers, which is quite nice to have. You know, it's a nice thing to have already set up and sort of making me money. So I'm just going to keep going until I get to the end of these conveyor belts here, which is there. And then I need to go up a little bit, take out a little bit more of the mine, put my my front down and then just scrape out the bottom now as you can see I'm now back into normal bedrock this is where it's going to get a bit more nastier for me because now it gets harder to dig again so I'll end up using a bit more like explosives and working my way through it it seems to be that the front loader just hits a wall I I've done this a couple of times now and it's like Come on, we need to go forward a bit more and it's like it really doesn't want to so it just takes a lot to get through so that's why I'm starting to use explosives now on the plus side like I said it's turning into blasted rock which means I get paid and that's all nice it's slowing down my tunnel a little bit though because I'm having to smash my way through it which does suck a little bit the plus side to it is all though is that it just means that I'm probably under a really big hill and where this really big hill is it's got to go down at some point, which means I'll get back to pay dirt. But so far, yeah, this is what I'm up to. I'm just digging a really big hole. And, uh, yeah, I might continue doing this during a live stream. So if you guys want to come along and watch me dig a big hole, hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all the other updates. Because I don't know 
when this is going to finish. All I know is at some point it'll either be during a live stream or I'll make a video about it when I break through or wherever that comes out. I don't even know if I ever will. I might just keep digging until the next update and then decide to do something else because in fairness you can only do this for so long until you go you know what I just want a change of pace. I might just want to take down a hill instead of digging through one. And that is one thing I did want to do. I did want to buy so much dynamite to try and see if I could like completely demolish a mountain. But I think that might just be something I do in another video at some point and just use that as a bit of fun. How much TNT does it take to destroy a hill? You know, that sort of thing. Because I've done proper mining in this game before. Well, I mean, it's our proper mining. I dug a big hole, got annoyed with it, and then went, nah, screw it, I'll do this another day. And then never did. But, glad that the updates are coming out for this game now. It's pretty fun, though. Like, if you don't mind doing this sort of, like, I would say strenuous gaming, because I don't think this is really, like, unless you're really into construction or, like, heavy machinery, I don't think this is one of those games that you're going to sit there and just go, hey, I'm going to get my first kill on, you know. It's not an FPS shooter. This is a construction game. This is a mining game. Like, I like it, but that's just because this is my sort of game. Right, let's just level out this bit up to the uh, the actual block. So the best part about this is really if you just take your time with the front loader, it just folds the dirt away like nicely. It means that I don't have to really worry about cleaning up. Sort of what I this is sort of why I uh, what I've been doing for a while now. I've been digging out as much as I can, and then just folding the dirt away with the with the front loader itself. So if it starts crawling over, drop the loader down a bit more, and then just go a little bit slower, and you can watch it just evaporate. And you can do this the whole tunnel. And there we go. And then that's all prepped for the next section. So you just jump out, stick your conveyor belts down, put the walls in, and then do the same to the other side. And then all is good. And then just carry on. And literally, this is how I've been digging this tunnel. All I've done for the last... I don't even know how many hours I've been playing this game now for. But as long as I've been playing it for, this is where I'm up to. This is what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, every time I hit bedrock like this, it just takes a little bit longer to get through. A little bit more strenuous to break. I'm hoping I'm on the downslope though. So I'll cut this back as much as I can. Probably only go back a few more later. Yeah, there we go. I don't think I can go forwards anymore. No. Nope. See, the front loader just can't, it just can't get through the, the bedrock, unfortunately. It gets through a little bit, but it does get, like, wedged up. And I can't break it. So, we have to drop back a bit. Get out the explosives. Stick one there, one there, one there, one there. Run back to my hole. Which is in here. And then pushy. And then all that stuff comes down. All goes into the conveyor. And everything that doesn't get knocked into the conveyor, we just keep knocking out. And all that stuff now is turned into blasted rock. So we can stuck it all. It goes through all the plant. And we just make money from it. And this is literally what I'm up to right now. So now we can easily get through this. This stuff, I believe, gets turned into grit. Hey, level 28. Yay me. I don't even know what that unlocks. Give me a second. We'll have a look in a minute. And that's basically what I've been doing. Unfortunately, what it does do is it causes me a little bit of a problem. Now, I was nicely shaping out the roof until, obviously, it collapses every now and then. And now I'm having to deal with these like giant bobbles of like where I've been putting explosives. So I'm trying to minimise that as well. But same time, I'm still going. Now, the next thing is, is if it gets to a point where I'm, I'm taking so long to get down here with the front loader because of fuel, I'm probably going to end up having to make a pit stop somewhere and then put another fuel canister down here because I don't know how far I'm going. That's the, I would say that's the downside to this is like, I really don't know where I'm going. And it's been more... Yeah, it's getting more challenging, so it's it's all good. Anyways, on that note, I want to see what I've just unlocked. So, we're level 20... What are we? Level 28 now? Fantastic. Level 28. Let's have a look in the store. 
we can soon get the Chariton G160, which is the um, grader, which is fine. I can get all of this stuff, the ripper, the hammer, the, I suppose we could use one of those, that's a drill. Trench bucket, we don't really need. Grading bucket, I like grading buckets. Um, do de do de do We've got all these paints we've unlocked as well, which is pretty cool. What vehicles have we got? Unfortunately, most of these unlock at level 50 and 60. We might soon be able to get this, which is the 7,000. Yeah, that's an absolute beast. Absolute. Well, we probably won't be able to fit that down here. That's the downside. Um, I would probably be hoping for one of these, like the 2,350. According to what someone told me in my live stream, I may have to widen my cave for this, but we'll see when we get there. But yeah, even one of these, like the 1660, I'd love to get something like these just because they're getting they're level 37s. Um, the closest one I've got is the LW300. I don't know if this is going to have enough like push to get through like base rock, but we'll see how things go. At the end of the day, it just means I'm just still messing around and it's all good. I'm learning as I go. I'm not in the construction industry. I've never have been, never will be. But when it comes to gaming, I'm just one of those people. I just really don't mind playing this sort of game. So. I'm learning as I go along, and I talk to Split quite a lot when it comes to like certain things. I, I'm in his Discord, and we I talk about, well, whenever I need help, I'm like, help someone, please, and someone with a bit more experience comes to find me. So I want to say thank you very much for kicking by. Thank you very much for checking out my tunnel, which is um, it's definitely a feat of like stupidity right now. And we'll see where this goes. I'm going to keep on digging. And maybe if I could pull up another live stream, you might come and check it out as well. So thank you very much for kicking by. I'm, I've am i been Hybrid Steel, and I'll catch you all later. I want to say peace out, have fun, enjoy everything you guys do. And if you do want to help support the channel, you can become a member for just a couple of dollars a month. And it helps financially support this channel in all of my future endeavours. Until my next one, peace out, have fun, enjoy everything you guys do. Bye-bye for now.